Korea, the all share index lost 0.38% to close at 37,145 points. Total value traded down 12.48% to 2.5 billion naira. Losers on the day include Academy Press, IHS Guinness, MPFM Microfinance, and Costain, while the gainers were Courtville, MRS, Pharma Deco, Wemba Bank, and Ipua. Meanwhile, the bearish sentiment recorded at the equities market last week could continue today as investors may trade cautiously ahead of the release of key earnings, particularly from banking heavyweights such as GT Bank, Zenith, and Access Bank. Ayodele Akimwumi, head of research at FSDA, joins me now from the Stock Exchange to give us an outlook for trading today. Thank you so much, Ayodele, for joining us. Thank you very much, Esther. I saw a very bearish trading session last week. Uh, do you think sentiment could change today? Uh, perhaps investors have gotten over uh, that MPC announcement last week. Thank you very much, Esther. Yes, I think this week the market may still be influenced by the outcome of the MPC meeting last week, which increased the CRR for public sector fund from 12% to 50%. Now, the impact of this actually has not been um, really felt in the um, money market in terms of actual debit. The Central Bank, through a letter to the banks, mentioned that they are going to do the actual debit sometimes next week. Now we expect the impact to be felt in the market at that time. Is a huge amount of money that will leave the system. Um, we are estimating something in the region of over 500 billion that will leave the system. Now this will likely cause rates to go up in the interbank market. Um, and then with this one, if this when this one happens, um, funds may likely reallocate to that segment of the market in the short term. But looking at what has happened in the historical trend, we expect that this is just going to be a temporary um, situation in the equity segment of the market. Um, after a while, the market will recover from it, and um, the market will um, stabilize to historical trend. And of course, this week, again, we are expecting the Federal Reserve Bank to meet on rate decisions. We don't expect anything different from what they had last time. The, um, again, the GDP figure for the United States is expected to be released this month, I mean this week. These are various issues that may likely um, impact trading activities this week. Hi, Adela. The market is expecting key earnings, particularly from bank stocks, Zenith Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, Access Bank. Do you think uh, if the numbers are strong, we do know that these banks have a history of strong performance, do you think that could take investors back into a better mood and then trade volumes, higher volumes at the exchange? Yes, I think so, yeah, but, but this week I think that the outcome of the um, um, MPC meeting last week will still influence activities this week. Like I mentioned, the actual debit has not taken place. Um, GTB, we expect that they will give a dividend, maybe 25 kaba, um, and in a stock of about 25 naira now, there may not be so much um, impact on that in the market. Access Bank may likely give another interim dividend as well, going by the historical trend. But then, um, again, Zenith Bank, we expect their earnings to be released in the market. And we have mentioned earlier that we don't expect so much um, growth in terms of earnings from these banks this year, looking at what they did last year and um, the fact that yield on the, the securities, federal government securities, and other um, fixed income in the market have really gone down. And therefore, they made a lot of money from this, this um, instrument last week, and they, I mean last year, so this year, we don't expect so much growth from them. But then, if you look at the current prices of these banks and the um, peer ratios, they're actually undervalued. Uh, but I think the current market sen sentiment may still prevail over any earnings released this week. But after that, when the um, investors realize that this fund has been taken from the market and the new funds come to the market, that is when we expect reactions to this, one that we, um, to this earnings in the market. Okay, Ayadele, if the bearish sentiment persists, we do know that last week, while many investors offloaded many stocks, particularly from the banking sector, there was also some mild bargain hunting for today, or perhaps going forward this week. What stocks do you think investors could uh, put on the table? Well, we will still recommend strongly down to the cement, the largest um, um, sector, I mean, the largest company in manufacturing, uh, cement manufacturing company in, the, in Nigeria as we speak today. Um, the current earnings is very strong. The prospect has very strong prospect, and at the current price, we think it's still undervalued. Um, so there is um, value in that. We equally still recommend Dangote Sugar still has strong earnings. We recommend flour mill uh, at the current price still has some um, room to grow. And the banking subsector, which we think are grossly undervalued at the moment, um, across 
the banking sector. We have a lot of you know good um, stocks that are currently trading be below um, intrinsic value. We have the Access Bank. We have the Sky Bank. We have the Diamond Bank. We have the JTB. We have the Hefbian Holdings. We equally have the Zenith Bank. Nearly all of them are trading below um, intrinsic value. So investors who have medium to long term view should actually position in these banking stocks. And maybe towards the end of um, um, towards the end of August and towards third, last quarter of the year, I think they will likely reap um, good dividend and good earnings from these um, stocks. Now, Yodele, last week we saw aggressive hunting for uh, some particular marketing stocks, particularly Forte Oil, MRS, and Corn Oil. Forte Oil, the best performing stock for last week. Do you think that trend could continue this week, even in the midst of bearish trade? Now, for Forte Oil, I think um, the market has not really priced that stock um, in the last few years because of the layer of instability we have um, had in that company. Um, I think we got information that the company is currently restructuring, the putting in um, a lot of structures in place to ensure that they declare the good earnings this year. And that is what investors are actually reacting to. But if you look at the um, sector, you discover that the sector actually reacted. I mean, almost the same uh, in the same trend. Um, the fact that the PIB petroleum industry bill has passed through the first reading, second reading, um, it appears that there is so much. Um, seriousness from the uh, part of the government to actually pass that bill and to start implementing that. And so that may be the um, reactions we are seeing in the petroleum marketing companies. And therefore, um, but if you look at what has happened last week, Friday actually slowed down a little bit. We think that the market may likely, some investors may likely want to take profit from some of these stocks this week. So we don't I guess, expect the aggressive growth almost. 10, 15, 20% in some of these stocks last week to continue this week. So it may remain flat and until new headings are released in the market.